Iron is an essential nutrient for your crop, but yet, have you been fertilizing with iron as you're fertilizing any crop that you're growing out there? In many cases, we've got high levels of iron in the soil, but does that mean it's necessarily getting into the plant? When I look at a micronutrient like iron, I think there's a couple things that I would recommend. First of all, when you're soil testing, make sure you include micronutrients on your soil test, and iron would be one that you could take a look at. And then, if you're doing any plant tissue analysis to see what actually is getting into the plant, iron would be another one to look for on that test. Okay, here's the problem though. Let's say you have iron deficiency chlorosis in soybeans. You actually could show iron in your plant tissue, yet the plant is still turning yellow from lack of iron. And you go, what? How can that possibly be? Well, here's what's happening. There is still iron in the plant, but it has turned from the good or ferrous form into the ferric form. And your plant is going to be short on iron. Even though there's iron there, it's in the wrong form. The whole thing is, it's about soil pH. If your soil pH gets to seven or less, you are not going to have this issue anymore. Gone. Okay, so if you've got an iron deficiency chlorosis area on your farm, work on getting the drainage improved, work on reducing anything that's going to cause higher pH levels, like for example, high sodium or high magnesium, and push that pH down. Once you do, iron deficiency chlorosis is gone, your iron will remain in the ferrous form, which I call the good form, and now your plants are not going to turn yellow. Well, it is nice, but if you need to deliver iron in those situations to the crop, just putting out regular iron sulfate is not going to fit the bill here because that iron is just going to be converted to the wrong form that the plant doesn't necessarily need. What you need to do is use a certain form of iron. A lot of times we'll, we'll be using EDDHA chelates to try to protect that iron and get it into the plant in the right form. That would be one way to go about this. There are a number of products on the market and there are even some new ones coming out because as science moves forward and chemists get more involved in this process, Process, they're finding even better ways to deliver iron to your plants. But make sure you do that at planting. When you're doing it foliar, yes, you can turn the plant green. And that's one of the things that we were going to talk about a little bit with iron. If you have super dark green crops, very often that means good iron levels. And yes, you can go foliar feed and it'll turn the crop dark green, even in soybeans in those IDC areas. But if it turned yellow earlier, if you had an iron deficiency earlier, you've already lost the yield. So getting the early application out, especially at at planting time, that's typically the best way to go. So let's go back to the soil test just a little bit and talk about what we're looking for with iron. One of the things that we're going to compare iron with often is manganese. And depending on if you're running a Malik 3 test or if you're running a DTPA extraction, there's going to be some different numbers that you're going to look at. But what we look at on our soil test, we would like to see that iron number be at least 20 parts per million, uh, somewhere in that 20 to 40 range on a DTPA test, and maybe a higher number on the Malik 3s. But we want to see that number being bigger than what our manganese number is. Now, where we farm, it's generally not too hard to do that because we've naturally got more iron than manganese. But in some parts of the country, that can be a challenge where you see more manganese than iron. In those cases, make sure you're adding more iron to get it above that manganese level to help the plant be able to utilize it. The cheapest way for us to add iron is in the water treatment lime that we will commonly use on our farm. Very high levels of iron there, good source of iron, works quite well, no big issues with that. I would say iron can move down through the soil to some degree. It's not gonna be stuck like phosphorus or zinc so much. So you can apply iron over the soil surface, watch it work down over the years, that's not a real big issue. But there are many sources of iron out there, like Darren said a little bit earlier, the thing that we're most interested in is with IDC, then you got to pick that EDDHA, otherwise you can go iron sulfate or a number of other forms. Iron's a very important nutrient for your crop. It is an essential nutrient for plant growth, so monitor that with your soil tests, with plant tissue testing, and add more iron if you need it. Another thing you've got to monitor on your farm is weed control, especially if you've got our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it coming up next.